Two new gas-fired power stations will be built in Queensland in the next three years. The plants in Gladstone and Ipswich are expected to boost Queensland's electricity generation by 20 per cent, but critics say the state should instead be looking at renewable energy options. Earlier this year, there were fears Queensland could be running out of steam. But the booming southeast of the state and central Queensland have been given a power boost. Without these power stations, we'll start to see shortages in electricity supply uh, across Queensland. So these are very important in terms of maintaining that reliable power supply across this growing state. The Hong Kong-based business consortium will spend $3.5 billion to give the state an extra 3,000 megawatts of power in just three years. The clean green energy tag doesn't wash with everyone. It's disappointing to see such a large scale investment in non-renewable electricity generation in Queensland, particularly when we have such good renewable resources available to us. But Ipswich authorities are welcoming the investment in an energy source which emits 50% less carbon than coal-fired plants. And what this will become is a modern swan bank which um, is all based on um, sustainability, the new kind of power station that is um, gas generated and the pipeline's already in, in place. Both in Queensland and elsewhere in the market we see gas as being the fuel of the future. But opponents say the future of the Sunshine State shouldn't be powered by gas. Well, we think that's not really the direction that we need to be heading in if we're serious about acting on climate change. The Premier says the new project proves there's still confidence after the federal government's introduction of the carbon tax and expects the projects to generate around 1,000 jobs.